Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to a new Total War Warhammer free playthrough. A heavily, heavily modded playthrough, guys. Uh, we've got Mixu, um, obviously Mixu's faction unlock of two I'm players, Scorry, Stonebeard, and Karak Azorn, right over here in the Mountains of Morn. So we're going to have a very, very different start of the game, surrounded by a uh, Ogre people and Orky people. So it could be a hard start as it is. Um, as well as interesting places to be moving into. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, we also have Dowie Thunder, a Chinese mod which gives us mechs. Um, Let us begin. A Thunder Barge mod. Basically, I'll list them all down below. There's a lot of mods on, so I don't know how stable this is going to be. And as I said, amusingly, some of my units <laughs> don't have text because they're, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh. And we have a great hall. Interesting. Um, yeah. To start with, obviously, we are in a, 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 a interesting start position, from which I'm going to have to expand very quickly. And obviously, I, I want to be searching for lost carracks in these mountains, which I know there are a few others of. But daft as it sounds, pushing out into the orcs early may be better for me. Because they will be, um... Uh, I don't know. Obviously we want to get there, but obviously we want to try and control the mountains some more. I mean, not averse to being friends with ogres, but obviously <laughs> these guys need to fall. Because uh, they hold our local territory. What? Without further ado, let's start recruiting more. <laughs> more, Time more, reckoning. more Dowie. See, I'm just wondering what I should level up to start with against the um, ogres. To be fair, I think I should probably get walls. <laughs> Interesting. That requires that. Is this different? No. I don't remember that ever needing that before. Anyway, let's get into it. This is an odd one because there's no instant fight to start with. I'm not actually at war with anybody. It feels weird. So, Scurry Stonebeard. We will try and keep him alive, guys. Obviously, name requests and things for this campaign are more than welcome as we go on. We will get some names and things in. Ready. One more turn. Nope, I can't recruit heroes the yet. Wisdom of the Very well. Ah, buffing up my warriors early is gonna be huge for me here. Um, diplomacy. Meet rich. Hey, they're not actually disliking me yet. I'd prefer not to be in the plains. I don't actually like being in the plains. I find they're far too vulnerable. Plus, there's scave. There's all sorts of people down there I don't want to be dealing with. Obviously, I'm going to have to deal with those orcs at some point. Can I cross there? I don't think there's actually a crossing point here. So I can cross and they can cross to be there because obviously Onward. we can use the underway, but. Summon me if you dare. My axe thirsts for war. I'm gonna have to make an early move somewhere, however. That's cheaper. Uh, getting us up to six. Hmm. Maybe get another unit of Great Axe, in fact. A couple of units of Great Axe extra will be useful for me. Mal Bob there. The real question here is where we hit first. Because as we start fighting, fighting is going more fighting is gonna ensue. Um And daft as it sounds, I'd actually quite like to get um allied with some of the uh, ogres. But not necessarily too quickly. I see a gold tooth. Your blood. 
No, I'm at whoa. Okay. The carving slap awaits you. Hmm. So I'm at war Goldtooth to start with. That is annoying, Let though. I will guess begin. I get buffs for fighting him. Yes. It is time. Hmm. There we go. So, oh no, I'm, I'm going to leave a spot open. But yeah, we will start moving soon. We are on hard, hard, by the way, guys. Sorry, this is a very slow start compared to a normal play for it. feels weird. Wag, I see you. They are inevitably going to war with me at some point, so I do want to be aware of them as well. For the wisdom of Valaya. One more turn. One more turn, and we will begin, and hopefully not fail. But yeah, so obviously we have, as mentioned, we have a lot of mods on here, guys. So this playthrough may be short because something may go wrong. I, I would be I would be surprised with the amount of mods I've got running if this playthrough actually makes it to the end. Time for a reckoning. Because heavily modded playthroughs are notoriously, um... Here we go. After saying I won't recruit anybody else, we're recruiting someone else. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fall back! Fall back! We may be running away from that horribleness. Hmm. <coughs> only listens to Greasus. To war! I don't think there's any way I'll win. Nope. And that? Beards in belts. I may have just fucked up. I've got to be honest. But I can retreat. That's the key thing here. Why has it got worse? I may be loading my quick save, guys, because because I I, I I I fucked up. No, I I have no desire to fight that guy, so I am I am cheesing almost straight away. Uh, I do apologise. I don't like really like cheesing, but sometimes sometimes you gotta cheese for cheese gods. This may be an incredibly short campaign, guys. Very very short campaign. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, basically, I, I knew I shouldn't go forwards, but sometimes you got to take risks. Um, this may be a campaign where I actually have to put the difficulty down, which I don't like doing, but, but yeah. Just to start with until I get myself set up, as there's nothing really been set up to help you here. My axe thirsts oh. for war. Oh, fuck. Let us begin. Hmm... I'm in trouble. Greasers only listens to Greasers. It is time. I guess I'm fighting it, guys. I guess I'm about to lose my first army straight away. Well, that sucks. We'll check the map of the first one first. It's not actually a bad position to fight because I can really dig in up here. Yeah, I'm going to fight on this one because I think I can dig in and pull them in. Uh, Greasage Gold Tooth. 
who persuaded me to start here? One of you guys suggested these guys. And to be fair, they are an interesting looking faction to play, but I think it's gonna be nails. Basically, I need to use you really utilize the mountains here to my advantage. To be fair, they the man eaters are probably the real threat here. Um, they don't have much in the way of ranged, which is good. I definitely outrange them. So yeah, plan is to, to try and pull them up into this gap. As much as possible. So overlapping a little bit there. Kill hooks. They have run us. They have wronged us. Bring them down for the colors and Quite obviously, uh, we, we, we may have to maneuver people to other we positions just in Lord. case, but... Quirrellous. Ideally, we funnel them, we cause them to funnel in here. War of vengeance! Dwarf warriors! Strike out! They're not going to come at me until they've got everything, and that is my worry that they will overwhelm me a bit. That's it. That's fine. It's fine. I can I can position people in various places to assist. No, I'm happy to have the mass there. I can always rejig people as and when needed. <laughs> Come on! Why are they not attacking? Ah, oh, here they move. I'm kind of wondering why I don't know. I know I prefer holding up here to be fair because I've got support because I can't hold this gap. Oh, I can actually. Thing is, I can't support myself as well there. Strike out! Charge! These guys can support lots of places. This is my weak point. The clans unite! Go! Pump those dwarfen legs! Clown through! Rage far, rage fast! Lord! Danger now is if they break through, I will get completely overwhelmed. Okay. 
Come on. Thunderous! Please tell me they can actually shoot. I did what think they might not be able to, so we're actually gonna move them over here. Find your targets! Get on him! On on Come on! Go! Moving out! Yeah, there we go. We have scores to settle. Oh. What do they do? No self should have probably done them beforehand. Right, fall back. Sod it. I I want you shooting. Warriors. Let the vengeance begin. Okay, get some more people here supporting. Move now. For the ancestors. Move now. Dwarf warriors. Kazu. The clans unite! Pump the arcs! Hit Very Gracious well. Gold Tooth, please! Charge! Fire the Lord! Fire! Cast out! Strike out! Quarrelers! Range far! Range fast! No need to have them down there anymore. Vengeance. Basically, they just don't War get as good an angle there. Strike out! War of vengeance! Good. I am worried they're going to sneak something around, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine! <laughs> well, now it will hold! All fall and making it a very short campaign. Shit, this flank worries me. For the High King! Nothing can stop us! Quarrelers! Take them down! To be honest, I'm ignoring the gold too for now. Let's hit, let's try and break some of the other units. Shoot the Wazax! Yeah, some of them are sneaking round. Right, you can come back this way then. For the Ancestor Gods! Quarrelers! Whoa, 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 Church. you guys fall back. Don't get involved. Nothing You're not meant to be involved there. Put those dwarven legs. Go. You're meant Move. to be shooting. Dwarf warriors. Quarrelers. Right, let's hit their trappers next. Burn their trappers off. Actually, we're doing quite nicely here because we're surrounding them. Let's start hitting their trappers. But the fact we're surrounding them is good. Goldtooth is getting low. I think these guys are still on Goldtooth. Shit, they're breaking through. Move, 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 move. This flank is, 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 is struggling. To be fair, so is this flank, but if I can break Goldtooth. 
killing Goldtooth will be really helpful. And you see a lot of them are breaking. Taking him out will, will give us a reprieve. Kill him! Come on, come on! Goldtooth is down. Absolutely keep the pressure on. Yes, yes! Dowie, attack! Take him down! That's it, that's it! Come on! Hit that unit! <laughs> oh, yes! Look at this Isle of Ogres. Oh, back! I want to see. I want to just see the the carnage here. They pushed in. They drove me right back. I nearly held this gap, but I'm glad I held down here because here I got driven into the gap. Oh, ho, ho. taking out gold tooth though at that point was the key because they were already wavering and taking him out was solid. So a lot of good Dowie died. Um, my range did, as expected, most of the work. My Thunderous didn't do much, but had them on Gold Tooth most of the time, so. Their man to survived. Sorry if you can hear me drinking, by the way. <laughs> Trying to mute myself when I do it, but. Nice. And we are... Oh, no, we're in their province still. Now, the question is, did I do enough damage to push them back, right back? Can I take the Valley of the Horns? I doubt it. But, oh, no, he is double timing away. That's actually quite good. Especially as he doesn't have his own hall. Oh, this, this might work well for me. This may work well for me. Thing I have to remember, though, is I don't get proper settlements here. Ogad, Ogdawi. We are going to have to uh, learn to work with and against the ogres. So we are going to have friends with some of their factions. Oh my! It must have really? Out of version. The boss. Time for a reckoning. I am being a bit cheeky the here, cheeky here, because I want to attack, but I want to look. I'm going to siege for a couple of turns. To battle. I may well get driven off, we will see. Melee defense. I, the route marcher doesn't matter while I'm sieging. Fight! I obey only the great. If I can take out. Yeah, I thought this might happen. Maybe I should have accepted one of the most Pyrrhic victories in existence. Hmm. I'm going to take it because I wiped them all out. You ain't no tyrant. I'm gonna have to fall back. I may well lose the settlement. I may well have the others declare war on me. That may prove foolish, but the fact that I win and kill them all is the important bit there. And it's taken out some of their toughest units. And I don't know what's here. We may be able to even re-recruit here, so. Karakazorn has walls and has defenders, so that's not too bad, I hope. Go, making my axis perfect. I am going to get another lord here. 
whose entire job is to recruit some extra people. For the wisdom of Valea. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. We now have ogres in our force. Clan Morgrim. His entire job is to recruit people. Morgus Hasnyefnizian. His entire job is to ferry troops down to, to Skori. Now that we've had that Pyrrhic of Pyrrhic, most Pyrrhic of Pyrrhic victories. I, I could have fought it, but I've already fought a big battle, guys, and yeah. I, I think I'd have done better fighting it there. I mean, I, well, I might have done better fighting. It's always hard to tell. Oh, yeah, we can always raid trains as well. I am a little concerned by these guys. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm a little worried by those guys going to war with me, but they are currently fighting Gracious Goldtooth, so... <laughs> Very well, the slam awaits you, Clooney. Onward, yes. To war! What? My anger burns bright. Yeah, up to the border. It is time. Summon me if you dare. What? My axe thirsts Yeah, a couple of uh, great axes is useful. Start working on tactician to off my range. Oh, scurry. That's it. That's it. I'm, I'm happy with that. I, I ideally don't want Gracious's territory to be taken by them, but we'll see how it goes. I love the fact that I now have ogres in my territory. In my, in my faction. And I would like to ally with some of the ogres because actually getting good ogres would be useful for me. Now, a mod, modifying these dwarves slightly so they utilize ogres much more would be interesting. Rune Lord, can I help you? That is unthinkable. Yes. One rug. So, 14. Armed and ready. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. Just realised I should have gone for Quarrelers with great, great weapons because I think they're anti-large? No, they're armor-piercing. Uh, I hope they lose. <laughs> It's the annoying thing is I'm kind of spread across two territories as well. Let us begin. Vengeful Rune Lord. Master of Runecraft. For the wisdom of Valea. Ready. Yep. I do. Onward. And a couple of units. Ah. I thought I'd actually disband. Yeah, I did. Rune Ricky. Oh, can I only have one in? What do you want? In which case, no. Nope. You ain't nothing without us. I think a unit of slayers would be very useful for us, though. 
Okay, and that, guys, is where we're going to leave this one as Scorry Stonebeard of Karakazorn. Um, our initial push has gone well. Obviously, we, we, we need to wait and see what happens down here, and then we need to decide where we're expanding to next. Um, I think that here... I need to work out... I think up here there are some more Dowie holds, so yeah. It's tricky. I do want to make friends with people. Obviously, there's very people I want to fight against. Uh, but the, the plan for this one is to control the Mountains of Morn through alliances or war. And then from there, we may look at things. So basically, from down south here, you know, right down here, I want to control all the way up to the north. Uh, be sort of a Cathayan bastion there. That is what I'm thinking the plan is for this. Let me know if you think of something else. And obviously... We may need to pacify some of the Dark Lands, but we'll see how that goes. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. And other than that, as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and Patreons. Monster Bound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Brataru, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.